friends, this is Eli from Mystic Circuits, and today we will be going over how to update the firmware on your iDUM. Now this will be important either for if there is a new firmware that comes out that has extra features that you might want to add to your iDUM, or if you want to take a look at the code and actually edit it yourself and uh, tweak some things, you know, uh, comment something out and replace it with your own thing, try out new stuff with iDUM. Uh, this video will show you the process for doing both. We will go ahead and install the Arduino program in order to actually um, upload and, and edit the software. And we will also download the firmware from the Mystic Circuits GitHub. So I'll show you how to do everything in, over the course of this video. Now, the first thing that you want to know is which firmware is currently on your item. And that is possible by looking at the mode ring during the first second or so of startup. Um, the number for the firmware will be displayed on the ring um, as just a single LED that is uh, on while you are um, while your item is booting up, right? So the uh, firmware 1.0 will be this first LED. Uh, firmware 2.0 will be this second LED, firmware 3.0 will be this third LED, and so on, counting around the ring. Hopefully there won't be more than eight firmwares, but I'll figure something out if there are. So um, basically, uh, I'll show you the process. You start up item, you can see this pink LED is uh, the, it's the one that stays on the longest, right? You saw maybe like another LED goes on for a second during that boot up. That's just the item like st startup state it it's the pink led that's um that's on for the other second that shows the uh, actual firmware number so what you're gonna want to know about installing items firmware is that you will need to get access to the back of your module and you're probably going to need a little bit of extra space to the sides because uh, you actually need to power the module while it's being updated, right? So if we look at the back here, you can see this little blue daughter board um, that's sitting on the back of item. That's the Arduino and that's sort of the brains of the module, right? It's a little microprocessor that's um, designed to be easy for people to, uh, to program and to upload their own programs to, right? And this is an Arduino Nano Every, which fortunately means that it comes with a micro USB cable, or um, it rather, it uses a micro USB port, which is sort of the more common of the two. The Arduino Nano used a mini USB port, and that was a real pain in the butt. So we have our micro USB cable here, right? It's not USB-C, so it is directional as in like there's a flat side and a curved side the flat side is going to go to the top of your arduino right so we're putting in our usb cable the usb cable is not plugged into the computer currently and uh but um i have the item out here you can see usb cable is in make sure it's kind of you know snugly in there then we'll go ahead plug back in the power cable and put it in the rack and then we're just gonna kind of leave things for now I'm gonna leave the USB cable kind of going off to the side instead of just shooting straight down into the side of the uh, the case just to not like you know put any stress on the cable or on the port right so for now go ahead and leave your item off and the rest of your case off and then we are going to go on the internet um, so for this, you will need to go to the Arduino website, which is arduino.cc. Um, you can also just Google Arduino. That's totally fine. Um, and the thing that we want is going to be on the software page. Uh, you can see here, it'll say Arduino IDE. It might not have the exact same version number, but this is what you're looking for. This is the uh, programming environment for Arduinos. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead, select your operating system. Now, this portion of the video is going to be different depending on what your operating system is. I use Windows. Um, you might be running Mac or Linux. Uh, the Basically, installing the program is going to be different for each operating system, but after that, everything should be the same. So um, I'm not gonna show how to install the Arduino uh, program 
for Mac or Linux, but I trust that you probably have installed some programs before and it should be fairly simple. Um, so go ahead if you would like to contribute, obviously go on ahead. I contribute by buying lots of Arduinos from them. Um, so we're gonna just download the program. You can see here we have an executable. I'm gonna open. It's probably gonna take a little while because it's a large file. I'm giving permission for this program to edit my hard drive. Um, so I agree, you know, sign your name and blood. Uh, next, we want all of those options on and then install. And uh, I'll probably just speed this up in the editing. All right, so now we have the Arduino program installed. Um, we don't need to edit it to open it just quite yet. First, we are going to go to our GitHub for the Mystic Circuits item, and uh, you'll see the address is github.com slash mystic circuits slash item, IDUM, and I will have that linked in the description for this video. Um, it might look a little bit different than uh, what it looks like right now just because I'm still in the process of releasing an item so there will be a lot more stuff here right but the thing that you are going to be looking for is this folder that says firmwares right so we're going to click on that folder and you can see um, there's update instructions I'm also going to be providing written instructions for installing the firmware and also um, this uh, zip file right and the zip file says mystic circuits item firmware version 0.9 right and that's because um, again I'm this is being filmed before the release I don't have a version 1.0 so um, we're going to go ahead and get whichever uh, zip file is here um, if there are multiple zip files just grab the one with the largest number so it either says 1.0 or 2.0 or something like that but chances are there will only be the latest firmware and I'll have older versions somewhere else so we're gonna go ahead and download this zip file um, first you click the zip file and then there's a little uh, button here that says download so we're gonna go ahead and click that click the download and uh, you can see it's already installed or rather uh, downloaded so go ahead and open that now I am going to open another uh, well, let's see. Okay, so Arduino will set up a folder in um, your documents folder on Mac and Linux. This will obviously be somewhere else, but it'll have a main folder for um, the sketches, they call it, which is just your Arduino programs, right? So on Windows, that's in your documents folder. It's just labeled Arduino, right? And I made a folder inside the Arduino folder just called IDEM. So I would suggest doing that just so you can keep all the different versions of your firmware there, or if you decide to make one that's maybe edit it a little bit just you know having it all in one folder is really convenient so I already made a, a folder called IDUM so I'm gonna get just go ahead and uh, navigate there we'll go we'll do this browse oh oh we're already there look at that and uh, it looks like I already installed I already extracted this because this is the second time I'm filming this video I had to uh, I, I had some audio issues with the first time so we're gonna go ahead and just cancel but you know hypothetically you will have extracted this into your Arduino folder and then into the item folder so we're gonna go ahead and click here oh that's not the right one okay so documents um, Arduino item right so now we're in our Arduino folder and we see the folder that we just uh, um, unzipped we're gonna go ahead and click in there and you can see there's actually a whole bunch of files in here right um, it might be a little confusing which one to click on you are going to want the one labeled our item firmware version 0.9 or whatever your firmware version is right it's always going to be called item firmware okay so if you click that I'm working with two windows here so you click that and you will see we are now um, in the item firmware version 0.9 probably a lot of you know these this will be a lot cleaner by the time that it comes out I hope and uh, you'll see that these are all of those other files that are over here like 00, zero variables right here and 01 timers these are all um, different functions within item and keeping them in separate files just makes it easier to keep track of I'll probably do another video once I actually release the firmware for editing to sort of go over the real basic functionality of the uh, 
of the of each function if you um, feel like editing things but for now we just want to know how to actually stick this firmware onto our Arduino right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to tools and you'll see there's this section called uh, board right and so it says board and it says Arduino Yun right now but you don't need that what you want is the boards manager right the um, Arduino Nano every isn't doesn't come with its uh, library installed for whatever reason so what we're gonna do is we're just going to look up Arduino Nano every right and do a search and you can see there's this uh, library here called Arduino mega AVR boards we're gonna go ahead and click the install and you should you only need to do this the first time that you're installing the firmware after that it'll be this library will already be there and uh, you won't have to do this ever again right so we're gonna go ahead and install it uh, yes I want to make changes to my hard drive and uh, okay so now you see it says installed right here right so go ahead and close that and we're gonna go into tools and you see the the section that said boards before um, now has this little section called Arduino Mega AVR boards I'm gonna select the Arduino Nano every right so that basically just tells the compiler what board we are planning on using for this program so that it knows exactly how to set everything up right so now we'll go to tools and port oh I have to um, so at this point what we're gonna do is turn on our case and we are going to take the USB cable that was plugged into IDUM, plug it into our computer, right? So now if you look in tools and you look at port, there will be one entry, um, hopefully, that says Arduino Nano Every in parentheses next to it. And uh, that's basically, it's not always gonna be COM6 like it is here. Um, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how it works, but every time you plug the uh, the Arduino into a USB port it either randomly assigns it a number or it's depending on your USB port but it changes um, almost you know it changes fairly regularly so just look for the one that has Arduino Nano every in parentheses here it automatically selected it for us which is very convenient hey folks uh, so I have just one thing to add as I'm getting ready to release the uh, first public firmware for IDUM and I'm going through the upload instructions and there's one thing that I missed and just wanted to cover really fast if you go to tools you're gonna want to go to this register emulation and there's two options click the none option um, I have not come across an issue with this yet but it appears that um, using the register emulation makes your processor run slower so I can only imagine at some point it'll cause somebody a problem so go ahead and go to tools just like we were doing to select the board and the kind of Arduino that we're doing and then just go to register register emulation and turn that to none and uh, that should do it and uh, now since you know you're getting a firmware from me so you don't have to check for errors hopefully um, we're gonna go ahead and click this arrow which says upload you can see the text right here shows up when you're there it says upload so go ahead and click that and uh, we'll see right here it says compiling sketch right if I move out of the way you'll see a little bar here showing our progress um, so uh, yeah compiling sketch uploading oh, see that's a good sign right and you'll get some uh, some little messages down here telling you how much memory is left and that sort of thing and there we are it's done uploading right so um, sometimes you'll get weird random errors here I get this error every time this is cannot locate flash and boot memories in description don't worry if things like that show up only worry if it says if it doesn't say done uploading and it says something like could not upload right then we have a problem so if something like that happens and this process doesn't happen smoothly go ahead and either leave a comment on this video or contact me through the um, contact form on my website that's mysticcircuits.com and there will be a section that just says contact in the hamburger menu in the upper right hand corner right so um, again if it says done uploading where we're in good we're in a good position right and if it doesn't say that then then uh, we have to do a little bit more research on why so hopefully you've seen this and then we'll go ahead and just check 
our Arduino again to make sure that the right firmware version is installed. All right, so um, now we have the Arduino on because we were programming right. What I'm gonna do first is unplug the USB cable, right? Um, the computer will try to power the Arduino while, uh, while the USB cable is plugged in, even when the case power is off. It shouldn't um, alter anything, but it does, it does make it, it's like a little funky. It won't actually turn all the way off if it's powered from the computer, right? So um, go ahead and turn off your case power, right? Lights are off, we turn it on. I'm gonna go ahead and actually unplug the USB just so that we get a better view from the camera. Um, so go ahead and turn on your Arduino and here we see the pink LED turning on. In your case, if you're updating your firmware, it'll probably be the red LED because it's version 2.0, but for our case, it's the pink LED and that means that we have the right firmware and that everything's updated. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope it went smoothly. If it didn't, please get in touch with me so that I can help you figure out what went wrong. And um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying your item. Uh, everyone have a wonderful day.